G'day, I'm BLXN, and welcome back to Buzz Aldrin's Space Program Manager, episode... Ooh, I think we're in 9 now. So, let's end this season. Ooh, no, actually, I've got some scientists going. Let's not end this season. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Crude spacecraft. So, let's check out the current people we've got down here. The A team on that. There's a rover. Stick some people on that. You are very good. Um, I guess I could train you again. Train you in EVA or crude spacecraft. Eighty five at least. Put my B team back to work, training up. Uh, I'm going to want to multi skill you. You can do spacecraft systems as well. You can do that one. You get that over 90 at least. Trajectory. Systems. Mission. You do your lowest one, which is going to be trajectory. And you can be crew and payloads. Alrighty. Saturn V is getting there. Okay, heat shield test. Here we go. So what they're going to do in this particular mission is... Um, well, because coming back from the moon, you're going to have a much higher velocity than just deorbiting from around the Earth. So what they're going to do is they're going to send this up on a very... like a sort of a parabolic arc. They're going to send it right up quite to high in orbit and then bring it down at a high speed just to test the heat shield. So obviously there's no point sending someone to the moon if you can't get them back. This elevation burn, so we're going up very, very high now. Coasting up to the top. So we're high above the earth and we're gonna come back right, down. Sorry, right on the Roger, on the oh. Good luck, solve yourselves.
Oh, well, the heat shield worked. It's good to know. Near lunar velocity. Gemini trans stage is looking ready. Okay, what have they done? Suborbital flight, crude suborbital flight, uncrewed suborbital flight. Soyuz, are they testing their Soyuz? So they're going for the equivalent of the Apollo. Looks like they're going to be getting there soon as well. Meanwhile, I'm still waiting for Saturn V to be developed. So... Um, never flown. So the, historically, this one was never flown. Obviously, because they didn't proceed with the Gemini program that far. Okay, and that's just a, a crude version of the same thing I've just done. Might be worthwhile. So, uh, have a look what other programs there are. Actually, I'm just going to have a quick check. What's the current? Saturn is 74%. It's going up 2.7. What we can do, this is going to be a bit of a risk here. I'm going to give it a shot. We are going to launch an uncrewed lunar flyby. We're going to use the Saturn V. And we're going to use our best booster person. To try and maintain it. We're going to let the training of our team carry this through. This is going to be a huge test. But if it works, if I can actually get this thing to work, what we're going to have is a successful mission. Uh, basically we're going to bump up the reliability rate much faster of the Saturn V. If it fails then it'll bump it down. We're actually going to be worse off. But if it works it'll give us an opportunity to pull ahead of the Soviets as well as quite a bit of prestige. Not a huge amount for this stage of the game but it's getting there. So the lunar flyby, what they're going to do is they're going to launch it up, they're going to coast out to the moon, fly past the moon, and then actually come back to the Earth. We're not going to go into orbit around it. We're not going to... Um, basically, we're going to do the equivalent of what Apollo 13 did. Uh, now, Apollo 13 was originally going to land, but what happened was they had a, an oxygen tank explosion, and uh, because of that they used what's called a free return trajectory. So they went out there, and they're actually in front of the moon, and the moon was pulling them and slowing them down relative to the Earth. So uh, it didn't slow them down enough to actually capture them, because the moon's got quite a weak gravity field, comparatively. But it slowed them down enough that when they escaped from the moon, they flew past the moon, they were actually moving much slower than the required orbital speed for going around the Earth, and so they fell back again. So we'll be doing something very similar in this particular flight. So obviously the rocket worked. The rocket didn't explode on launch. It managed to get us in. And now we're just relying on our most successful piece of hardware. It's a beautiful art style in this game. And so you see there, none of the engines actually fired on the ship. We just shot through, we're slingshotting around, and now we're coasting back to the Earth.
Well, there you go. Bit of a risk, but a successful mission. And we will have gained uh, at least a couple of percentage points. There you go, 6.2. That's nearly a year's worth of um, upgrading. Now they've done the Zond. Huh, okay. So the Russians did the exact same test we've just done. They've sent off their Soyuz, their Apollo equivalent, and they've sent that past the moon in a test flight. So they've caught up, and they're, they're screaming screaming ahead of us at the rate we're going. We're, we're basically diversifying a little too much. So I need to actually focus. And it looks like Apollo is going to be our most likely project at the moment. I will get the other two ones later, but I really do need to focus on the Apollo at the moment. So I need to do a circumlunar flight with people in it, okay? So I can't just jump to an orbital flight with no people. Uh, I could, it's only a negative 5%, but at this point in time we're not rushing that much. Um, I'd still prefer not actually to put people on this rocket just yet. 82% is is risky. I'm actually going to take the 5% hit. This probably sounds a bit mad, but I'm going to take a 5% hit and do a non-crewed flight. Negative impact. Yep, we're going to go for it. Just because I don't want... their rocket to explode and kill all my people. Especially not if there's three of them in there. I actually probably wouldn't recover from that in time to beat the Russians. So this is going to be a bit of a risk. But if it pays off, you should hopefully be in a position to send people. Saturn V, just an absolutely magnificent rocket. Huge machine. Massive vehicle. And it looks like it's worked. Yes, that's good training for you. If you don't train your people, these checks can be down among the 30, 40, 50 percent range. I've got good people in. And I've actually worked on getting proper flight directors. These two, although they don't do anything, they really do help with those final checks. Okay, we're going to use our engines now to go into lunar orbit. Okay, we're now burning our engine to get out of orbit of the moon. And back to the Earth.
you go. So over the course of two test flights, we've done a 10% boost plus whatever we've done through R&D. Okay, I got Sawyer's spacecraft walk. Oh, uh -huh. I forgot about this. Got a lot of extra people. take you. I don't really have a huge amount of time now to worry about training people so much. Now I just want decent skills. And I can get more next turn. Alrighty. Time for a... Actually, my wife has just come home, so I'm going to have to call this an episode here. Come back next time, and we'll be preparing to send people in orbit around the moon. Thanks very much. See you then.